Hi friends, last week I got beautiful mask as a gift. My best friend has given me these two masks. So beautiful. Look at the, you know, the, de the design, the fabric. Oh my God, this is so good. He hand sewed this mask and gave me this mask. Well, I wish I have that kind of uh, friend, you know. So, well, I really don't have that kind of friend. I really wish that. I uh, got this picture through the Shutterstock. It's so beautiful mask. Look at that fabric. It's really nice. By the way, if you ever plan to go and visit your friend, mask is the wonderful gifting idea these days, you know. And uh, yes, so our life these days is full of mask, isn't it? So mask is part of our normal etiquette as well. Day by day, we wear mask whenever we go out. So whenever you are in public, so wear the mask is what the etiquette is, what the government is also saying, right? So how often do we have to wash the face mask? That is a question for today's video. So masks do get dirtier as we wear. So really no simple answer. So as long as we wear, so masks get dirtier. So uh, it, it all depends. So like how often do you use your mask? You know, so if you live in hot and humid areas, you should consider two masks. One for forenoon and one for afternoon. Like here in Bathinda, in Punjab, in, here in India, it's really hot and humid. No, I hardly go out these days, but if, whenever I go out, I do wear the mask, especially in the public places. But if I actually travel uh, around, I really don't do that now. But if I do have to travel, then I do have to carry at least two masks with me. Because accumulated sweat makes the mask damp and more difficult to breathe. So it's really, really important that, we, you know, you should actually change the mask quite often. So don't wear a damp mask. So, you know, because that uh, breathing difficulty, it will aggravate the problem. So it's not at all safe to wear a damp mask. Uh, of course, uh, a little bit of damp is fine. But if uh, the extended use of the damp mask is not at all recommended. So if you're traveling and wearing the mask for long, change mask after every five hours. So especially important if you're air traveling. Uh, by the way, nobody is traveling by air these days, but still if you're going by air or by road or train, so it's better to change the mask at least every five hours. In such situations, disposable mask is preferable rather than a reusable cotton mask, you know, so because you can just wear it and, uh, you know, and then you can simply uh, dispose it off. Though it's not really good for the nature, but you know, that is the most safest solution now. But if you're wearing the mask occasionally, like visiting the supermarkets, like I, what I do, then one mask per day is sufficient. Go with a reusable fabric mask. And more importantly, wash your masks every day. Every single day we have to wash our masks. No excuses at all. And that is as per the latest World Health Organization's guidelines. So how do we store the mask? You know, how where do we keep that used mask? So for storing the used mask temporarily, carry a ziplock plastic bag you know that the plastic bag with the zip on the top so you can actually put it in and close that zip of the plastic bag so that is the best solution as of now another option is butter paper or baking sheet or newspaper bag so uh, a handmade bag made out of butter paper or baking sheet or the newspaper i still prefer butter paper or baking sheet because you know these surfaces are a lot more smoother and it, it is not conducive for microorganisms you know and it's much better and uh, it won't there won't be any problem if you put the damp uh, mask in a butter paper bag so it's better than the newspaper bag so before storing fold the mask inside out that is a dirtier so you know the, this, the part which is touching your nose is the inside right so when you take out this inside part should be outside so the dirtier part should be folded inside so that's extremely important but not many people are aware of it and uh, the contaminated, that is dirtier side should be, uh, the outside side, side should be folded inward against itself while storing. It, the, all these practices are to minimize the contamination, you know, the, the contamination of uh, your hands or, uh, you know, the, the bag where you use to store your stuff, right? So these are all common sense solutions. So fold the mask and uh, store that into the uh, the the you know the ziplock bag or the newspaper bag don't keep used mask in your pocket many people do this mistake that they simply push that mask inside their pocket no it is an unhygienic practice don't do that coming to how to wash the mask 
you know so never touch the filters or fabric of mask that is extremely important because if you touch the mask especially the outside you know the contaminated side uh, because you know these are the side that actually filter so if you really go to a supermarket and come back there is a very high chance that the outside do contain the coronavirus so if you touch this coronavirus then you are at a very high risk so it is extremely important that you have to handle the mask with extreme care you know so if you touch make sure that you wash your hands properly because the chances are high that the filters or fabrics even the cotton mask fabrics i'm saying contain the novel coronavirus so because that is the reason that why we wear them why are we wearing the mask because to protect ourselves from the novel coronavirus so the virus gets deposited on the outside of the mask so it's really important not touch the outside of the mask after wearing that so it's it's a, it's a common sense be extremely vigilant while handling the used mask friends and how do you wash the mask uh, you know the suggestion is that wash that in a lukewarm water with liquid detergent and uh, you know of course hand wash saves a lot of energy because you know if you are simply washing one or two masks in a, a washing machine it takes a humongous amount of energy right so it's always better to uh, hand wash it in a lukewarm water so some people do ask you know this question I, I came to know through the last episode of the naked scientist that you know uh, is it is it or do you recommend to uh, you know to boil it in a kettle the mask no it's it's not a good idea uh, or microwaving the mask is also not a good idea because if you nuke it that is if you microwave it the mask are going to be getting damaged you know the surface will get lots of deformation so it become more and more susceptible for further damage so microwaving a, a cotton mask or fabric mask is not recommended at all so as boiling it in a kettle so i just hand wash it on my sink with the liquid soap and yes liquid soap or liquid detergent is preferable over powder detergent because ultimately we are going to inhale whatever is there in the mask isn't it so if there is a, a little bit of the residues of the powder detergent left so it will it all goes inside our lungs so it's better to wash it in a liquid soap you know that is what i do that and i like to dry the mask indoors as well because uh, if i put outside then there might be some dust uh, you know contamination and ultimately i will have to inhale all those dust so i don't like it so i just put that it, it's absolutely fine you know overnight is uh, fine for the mask to get dried and uh, you're going to wear a very fresh smelling mask every day the next day and you can buy or sew three to four reusable masks so that you can alternate between them so if you just have one mask go and get uh, a new one you can simply buy it or you can sew it you know that uh, cotton or fabric mask uh, that kind of mask that i have just shown you that kind of beautiful mask you can just hand sew it and if you make homemade mask i suggest you to make more mask than what you ever want so that you can always gift to your friends so that the friend will gift you much better mask you know that is what i miss isn't it so yes always uh, you know the the mask is a, a wonderful gifting idea these days so this uh, this is a poster that has been released recently by the world health organization it's called how to wear a non medical fabric mask safely let me enlarge this poster it's a beautiful poster it's a highly used poster so do's and don'ts so as you can see that do starts with clean your hands before touching the mask is extremely important inspect the mask for damage or if it's dirty so if it is dirty don't wear it if there is some damage don't wear it adjust the mask for your face without leaving any gaps on the side so you have to be very careful while wearing the mask cover your mouth nose and chin you know like this uh, guy on the illustration is wearing it avoid touching the mask so the touching the outside especially is not safe at all clean your hands before removing the mask so even before removing the mask or after removing the mask also you should clean your hands properly remove the mask by the straps behind the ears or the head so it is not that you don't touch the mask the front section but uh, on the strap you just have to pull the straps to remove it pull the mask away from your face and then store the mask in a clean plastic resealable bag if it is not dirty or wet you plan to reuse it so if you're planning to reuse the same mask then store that in uh, this kind of a ziploc bag 
as I just explained to you and remove the mask by the straps again when you want to reuse that used mask just remove it by pulling these strips not the real the mask the fabric you know don't touch that part at all wash the mask in soap or detergent preferably in hot water at least once a day well i just wash my mask every evening and i clip it in the laundry line so that by next day morning the mask is ready you know and uh, yes clean your hands after removing the mask it's extremely important because masks cont are contaminated and it might carry there's a very high chance that the mask do carry coronavirus these days isn't it the whole world is full of coronavirus so it's it's very important that we actually wash our hands properly you know so after touching the mask the uh, the used mask and some of the dons do not use a mask that looks damaged so there is some visible damage don't use it don't wear a loose mask so the mask which are not really properly fitting to your face don't wear it do not wear the mask under the nose so this one is like everyone here in india is following that i'm sure in abroad as well many of them simply wear the mask you know on the chin come on it's so disgusting to see one right that is not the proper etiquette at all don't wear it it's simply mocking fun of the mask you know don't do that you know the mask have to be properly worn so if you don't want to wear it just remove it don't simply uh, let the mask hang over below your chin and don't remove the mask where there are people within one meter so if there is people within one meter never remove the mask right you can remove the mask in a park where the people are not there to inhale some fresh air once in a while it's always good you know but never remove the mask in a crowded train for example it's not adequate and it's not safe for yourself as well as for others and do not use a mask that is difficult to breathe through it's also very important and if the mask is really making you lots of breathing difficulty then stop using that mask you simply go to a place where nobody is around then remove that mask and inhale properly so uh, proper breathing is extremely important so if a mask is not giving you the breathable the fabric is not breathable then don't use that mask especially if the mask gets damp because of the prolonged usage don't wear that mask do not wear a dirty or wet mask again that is the same principle so if the mask is damp and dirty and wet don't use it for a long time that is why i suggest you always carry an extra mask in your pocket well if it's a fresh mask then there is no problem if you put that in your pocket but if it's a used mask remember never store a used mask in your pocket you know it's very very important and do not share your mask with others obviously don't share the mask with anyone else so a fabric mask can protect others around you that is the main reason who is saying us to wear the mask to protect others you know to protect yourself and prevent the spread of covid-19 remember to keep at least 1 meter distance from others and clean your hands frequently and thoroughly and avoid touching your face and the mask and remember the aphorism my mask protects you and your mask protects me just like world health organization's guideline mayo clinic also released a very interesting proper guidelines on the tips on how to wear and care for your cloth mask the link is provided in the description section of this video have a look at that so there are of course there are several mask myths i keep on debunking through my youtube channel viruses can pass through the fabric mask that is one of the myth you know being propagated everywhere of course viruses are too small it can theoretically pass through any kind of mask immaterial it's a cloth mask or n95 you know respirator because of the viruses are extremely small but remember that the viruses are not like flying around like you know the, the flies viruses cause infection through you know this aerosol the droplets so of course the cloth masks do protect from the uh, the you know the aerosol so it's always better to have at least two or three uh, layers of fabric when you are using the cloth mask and as i told you one layer is preferably a microfiber cloth because microfiber clothes the pore size is extremely small and it's it will definitely protect you from getting the covid 19 and wearing mask cause hypercapnia and hypoxia another myth no it doesn't lead to any hypercapnia or hypoxia these are just fake news uh, being flooded in the social media mask with valves are fine no mask with valves are not fine because it allows the air the exhaled air go out unfiltered so it is it might not cause you the problem but it will cause the problem to others so it will not help to stop the community transmission of the coronavirus so never wear mask with the walls if you're a healthy person 
and masks are not necessary if we maintain 2 meter physical distancing no masks are still essential even if you wear 2 meter physical distancing so without mask never go to any public spaces so that is the etiquette of the post covid 19 era spraying essential oils on the mask make it better so some people simply reuse a dirty mask you know they simply spray some lavender oil or lime uh, you know oil and they think that okay it smells good and it is actually antibacterial i have seen that some of this uh, fake news spreading in the whatsapp recently i have seen one uh, you know the, the prevalent fake news spreading in the whatsapp that you, you know you can get rid of the coronavirus in the mask by simply spraying some coconut oil in it and you know the lavender oil and mint oil no essential oil cannot kill these viruses so it is never do that and more than that it's dangerous outrightly dangerous that you are inhaling all the essential oil it's not good for your lungs at all and never spray any oil onto your mask because efficacy of the mask will be reduced if you spray this kind of oils onto your mask i have released several mask of uh, uh, related videos including just wearing mask lead to hypercapnia or hypoxia and please don't wear mask with the walls and use microfiber clothes to fight the novel coronavirus so uh, all these videos are available in the description section of this video i hope this video has been useful to you if you like this video please click the thumbs up share it in relevant groups and subscribe to my channel i will see you soon in my next video have a good day